Welcome to AWS What's New. I'm Jeff Barr. I've got three cool launches to share with you today. Let's start with some big news for Go developers. Version two of the AWS SDK for Go is now available. Earlier, we shared a developer preview and several release candidates. This SDK reflects all the feedback we've received along the way. Our team focused on performance, consistency, discoverability, and the all important ease of use. Here's just a few of the new features. The new SDK is modular with service clients and functionality now packaged as independent Go modules. This, along with better API serialization and deserialization, reduces overhead and it can improve the performance of your application. You can now make use of paginators to iterate over API results that span multiple pages. You can also use waiters to easily validate that your AWS resources are in a particular state before performing additional actions. The SDK now makes use of a new middleware design. It lets you extend or customize the request pipeline. You can add specialized logging, debugging, and so forth. There's a whole lot more, and you can start using it today. Read the what's new to learn all about it. Next, we've published 18 new or updated AWS public data sets with content from life sciences, geospatial, climate and weather, and machine learning. These data sets are hosted on AWS via the AWS Open Data Sponsorship Program. We work with data providers to democratize access to their data for analysis on AWS. We also work with them to develop new cloud native formats, techniques, and tools, and we also encourage the development of communities around the data sets. Now, by their nature, each of these data sets is of interest to a particular audience. For example, the Natural Scenes data set contains high-resolution brain scans, those are functional MRIs, acquired from eight participants, each of whom viewed up to 10,000 distinct scenes. It adds up to 11 terabytes of data in all. In addition to the scans, there are many other measures, including pulse, respiration, and eye tracking. This data set is designed to enhance our understanding of how the human brain works, and it should also be useful for machine learning and computer vision. To learn more about this and our other data sets, you can visit the registry of open data on AWS, and you can also read the what's new. And finally, we're making the X1 and the X1E EC2 instances available in the AWS regions in Cape Town, South Africa, and Osaka, Japan. These instances are designed for running large-scale and in-memory databases and processing engines. The X1 instances offer you up to 1,952 gigabytes of storage, and the X1E instances offer twice that. That's up to 3,904 gigabytes. Both the X1 and the X1E are powered by Intel Xeon E7 8800V3 processors and offer up to 128 vCPUs. To learn more, you can read the what's new. And that's all for today. As always, we look forward to your feedback. Send us an email, a tweet, or you can leave a comment below. To see some more videos just like this, subscribe to our channel, click that bell for notifications. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you again soon.